A new chapter unfolds at the Caribbean Court of Justice, CCJ, as a prominent Jamaican jurist steps into a distinguished role. The solemn swearing-in ceremony at King's House was marked by reflections on duty, legacy, and regional unity. With her appointment, she joins a growing legacy of women in the CCJ bench or on the CCJ bench, poised to inspire. With more, here's Shante McNeil. Having been appointed a judge of the Caribbean Court of Justice, do hereby swear that I will faithfully exercise the office of the judge of the Caribbean Court of Justice without fear or favor, affection or ill will, and in accordance with the code of judicial conduct. So help me God. Newly appointed judge of the Caribbean Court of Justice, CCJ, Chantal Onanehu, taking her oath at the official swearing-in ceremony held at the King's House on Tuesday. The Jamaican jurist now fills the vacancy left by Justice Jacob Witt, who passed away shortly after his retirement last year. Appointed by the Regional Judicial and Legal Services Commission after a rigorous selection process, Onanehu brings over two decades of experience in CARICOM and international trade law. CCJ President Justice Adrian Saunders praised her accomplishments and expressed an eagerness to work alongside her. I am confident that Justice Onanehu will make a huge and positive contribution to the court and to the region's jurisprudence. I extend to her my warmest congratulations on this occasion, and I look forward to working with her. Prime Minister Andrew Holness weighed in also. You remind us of the profound impact that purposeful ambition, steadfast focus, and discipline can have on our communities, and we are confident that with your clarity, wisdom, and dedication, you will continue to inspire and uplift many across our region. In her address, Justice Onanehu expressed readiness for the responsibilities ahead. Our Caribbean Court of Justice plays a pivotal role in advancing the rule of law in our community and building Caribbean jurisprudence. During my tenure, I will work assiduously to contribute to shaping the jurisprudence and overall direction of this august institution, which is at a critical juncture as it approaches its 20th anniversary. She now joins Justices Maureen Rognoff Lee and Desiree Bernard as the third woman on the CCJ bench, hoping to inspire others. I look forward to serving alongside other women on the bench of our regional court. I hope to inspire other women to serve in the judiciary in the region, as so many illustrious women judges have inspired me. Our Caribbean Court of Justice is an institution of which we can be proud, in which we should have confidence, and to which we must remain committed. For CVM News, I'm Shante McNeil.